Yeah, welcome back. Today I'm just short uh, update for me here. I bought some tooth. I have been uh, changing springs and uh, shock absorbers a lot on some of the cars and I have the spring clamps. That is, yeah, a lot of work fixing it and uh, yeah, other things. Now I just found something on the net that I have seen some other using. So let's see, let's uh, take it out and see. Seriously, yeah, just putting it together and we see. Put on this heavy piece here, locker screw inside. There. Now I can adjust the height of the spring system. Spring holders. I have different cups for different sizes of springs. And um, just compress it. Compress it without uh, being scared of uh, everything blowing out in my face. This one hanging inside the spring and twist around. So if it something happen, it would I'm trying to blow out. It's stopped by this one. Just go up, pressure it together. And then open and loosen it out with the one under there. I'm standing on this one also. Yeah. Hold it down and just put it down. That seems to be a perfect tool for me for the next time I'm going to change uh, spring and shock absorber and Mac and things. Then I got this one. I bought it now because I found it on uh, AliExpress for a good price, I think. Also an offer. So, Vebur. I got it from, uh, come from Czechoslovakia. Stan is made in China, but 
It was shipped uh, from Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia, you know it. Czechia. So I get it very fast. And for what I can use it for. I think it's worth the uh, money because it saved me for the risk of uh, springs jumping out and making a lot of problems and maybe hurting me. So this is even safer than ordinary spring system. So I can take it out and use this one. It's perfect. That would be a nice tool. So luckily I just have to see when I get a uh, kind of for next tool. Just buying things when I find things that looks okay for an okay price. So I'm going to check it, make a video on testing it when I have to change next the next part of the suspension of springs on some of the cars. We're going to come back with a video of testing it and showing it how it works. Yeah, please come back, please follow the channel. Give me advice of small tools, big tools. Cheap tools, okay tools, tools at all. If you have something you would like me to test and put on on, or will help me get me some tools, yeah, please. I need every help I can. This channel is not bringing in many kroners or dollars a month. It's very, very little. So I'm just doing it because I like to find out things. So please come back, please follow the channel. Soon it's going to be 700 videos, so yeah, thank you!